Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I was younger, I wanted to be a meteorologist when I grew up. Uh, lucky for me, I have yet to grow up. I mean, look at this. Ponzi, my wife, just made me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm. Oh, I love her, and I love her peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Uh, so uh, what's the weather like today? Well, it's Seattle, and it's winter, so it's probably a little overcast. And you could probably download, if you haven't already, uh, the latest weather map from your favorite weather website. I use weatherbug.com for a variety of reasons. Uh, the idea of looking at the weather on your computer is a, it's a good idea. I mean, that's really what you have an internet connection for, right, is to get information. But what about interacting with those weather maps? Let me show you something. I don't know if you've seen this yet, because it was just announced today. Google has a fantastic program called Google Earth. This was acquired a while ago, and right now uh, we've got an overhead view of Seattle. That's where I'm at right now. But if I want to, I could uh, zoom in by double-clicking. Woo! Now we're closer to Seattle. I can get really close to Seattle if I want to. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to scroll back and show you something they just added today. What's this? Cloud cover? That's right. You can now see live weather in Google Earth, no matter where you're at. Let me reorient myself straight north. In fact, let's look over here where Wireless Packet's at. He's got some patches of pink and green. Oh, pink clouds just aren't good to see, let me tell you. And this is fully three-dimensional. Now I'm going north to Toronto. That's not where Lenny's at. I'm going to zoom in a little closer. And as I'm moving around, you'll see that the clouds move faster than the ground underneath the clouds. That's because it's three-dimensional. And I can zoom in, and at a certain point, the clouds will disappear, just like it was in the beginning when I was showing you a screenshot of this when I was over Seattle. This is very cool. Uh, I don't know how they pulled this off, but the fact that I can interact with this map, and in fact, you can even download an animation of the last 6 or 12 hours of weather uh, in your neck of the woods, or anybody's neck of the woods for that matter. Uh, as you see, uh, we have um, uh, a ball of snot uh, lingering over the Pacific Northwest, uh, this is uh, something that usually happens every winter. It's what keeps a lot of people from moving uh, to the Pacific Northwest uh, is, is because of this. It's just, I mean, and you can see there's a little infection in the middle, too. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, a a enough of the uh, uh, green globule uh, floating over the Pacific Northwest. Um, anyway, I thought that was really cool. Uh, so if you have not seen Google Earth before, uh, you can download it for free. Again, it's something that's uh, given to you by Google. There's a pro version, but most people would never use the pro features. That's really for, uh, well, professionals. <laughs> you are probably, like me, an astronomer, unless, of course, you're an official meteorologist, in which case my hat's off to you, or hat's on, depending on uh, how Seattle's weather is today. <sighs> well, I have half an eaten uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich over there, so uh, I'm going to let you go and let you be. If you know of any other cool programs that I might uh, be able to share with the rest of the world, uh, whether uh, they're well known and just uh, updated with some new features and functionality, uh, that Google Earth, by the way, runs on both Mac and Windows, even better. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. Just email me, chris at perillo.com. And of course, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room uh, where the weather is typically mostly wormy. I was just looking at my light beams. They're not worms, they're just... Anyway, uh, we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day. One place and one place alone. Live.perillo.com We'll see you later.